In the middle of all this, a couple here in Atlanta is desperately trying to bring home their newborn twins, born prematurely by a surrogate in Ukraine. Latasha Given spoke to them today, and Latasha, they must be worried sick. Sheba, they absolutely are. Now, the boy's story of survival is already remarkable. Even at just four days old, they survived preterm labor, and then they survived an airstrike near their hospital. Now they're breathing on their own, but they're still trapped in a war zone and not able to come home. So we fled from Soviet Union as Jewish refugees. So coming back to Kiev, as, uh, it, it felt really symbolic that my, my, my children would be born in the city where I was born. Alex Spector and his partner Irma Nunez found a surrogate from his home country to deliver their twin boys, Moishi and Lenny. After their surrogate Katia suffered complications, doctors delivered the boys at 32 weeks on February 25th just one day after Russia invaded Ukraine. Our surrogate mother was moved to a hospital outside of Kyiv. A shell rock fell into it a couple of days ago. She had to be taken in an ambulance. And so we were just dying for the three hours that she was there. They had no idea if Katya would make it to the hospital. And then all of a sudden, my phone rings and it's a video call and she says, you have two sons. So thank God. <laughs> it was just oh. amazing for us. The bouncing baby boys survived and are named after Alex's grandparents. For me, they're, you know, these big heroes and I, and I wanted my little boys to, mm -hmm. to share some of their legacy. The boys are now breathing on their own, but they're still not in the clear as the war looms around them. Until this morning, they were held in a hospital which did not have a bomb shelter. So they had to, during the air raids, they had to be taken out. The whole hospital was would run across the street into a church. These are the brave nurses who wrapped the babies up and rushed them to the church's bomb shelter. Doctors told the couple the boys should be strong enough to travel in two weeks. They'll have to make their way to Poland first, then fly to Atlanta from there. They appear to be safe. Alex and Irma say when the boys are older, they'll tell them the story of their survival. I'll tell them stories of, of their history and the history of the Ukrainian people. And raise them to serve their birth country. I'll make sure that they'll go back and help rebuild. Specter says the war is horrible, but the solidarity of the people is amazing. Their surrogate is a single mother with a six-year-old son. The couple says her son is now their son, too, and they're trying to get all of them back here to Atlanta as one family.